Hi, welcome to Excel Video 58. We're going to take the next step in conditional formatting today. I have new patients by location for th oh, third quarter for six different locations. And let's assume what I want to do is I, uh, let's conditionally format the way we've kind of done before. Maybe let's do some kind of color scale like that. And we'll just say, all right, that's close to what we want. I'm good there. And I've got high months in lighter colors and low months here in dark colors. Well, that's all fine and good. Let's say that what I also want to do is I want to look at the shading and have a general idea of where the month is. And the other thing I really want is could you bold for me the number that is highest over this, which location had the most new patients in third quarter? So I can go to conditional formatting and I'm going to do. Uh, Let's go to Manage Rules. It may be easier to see there. And so it shows my graded color scale, B3 to D8. Now I'm going to do a new rule. And what I want is only top or bottom ranked values. Let's do the top 1%, or the top 1 either way, of the values. And all I want to do to that is let's make the font bold so I can see it better. And click OK. I'm going to click OK, and then look what this Conditional Formatting Rules Manager does. It says, all right, you've got two rules, and they're applied in the order shown. The, the overall top one is going to be in bold, and the graded color scale is the dark orange to light orange thing that we've already looked at. If we click OK, there it is right there. There's my 436, and that's the highest one, and if I put a number in there just to make it recalculate. Now it's over here for location E in September. Now we're still in September, but it's location C. And the way to do multiple conditional formatting rules when you have uh, the same range of data is simply to, we're going to go to manage rules, and line them up the way you want. There's the top one, and there's the graded color scale and that's what I wanted to show you today. The key to uh, lesson 58, Excel video 58, is that these rules don't conflict. I mean you can easily make a cell bold, the font bold, and change the fill at the same time. And when you want to do that it's easy to do these rules. Stay tuned next time I want to show you what happens if these rules conflict. If this is yellow and that's, if this says make this font color black and this says make the font color red or the font color the font fill or whatever if the formatting conflicts that's what we'll talk about in Excel video 59 thanks for watching